What's up, everybody? My name's Azzy, and today we're doing a very, very special game that I, I just, I could just start it up, but I wanted to, to redo the startup because even the startup got me. <laughs> so we're just gonna start her up. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. <laughs> That's right, we're playing Freddy Fish. <laughs> In the case of the Hogfish Rustlers of Briny Gulch, I was five when this move when this game came out, and I've been wanting to kind of recapture that for a long time. Turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. Boy, I sure am hungry. You're always hungry. Oh, yeah. There's Cousin Calico's Ranch. I can't wait. Let's go, Freddy. Always kind to his brother, comes in out of the rain. Gets his homework done early, gives up his seat on the train. Oh yeah. He's always using his brain. Listens close to his mother, always helps out his dad. Everyone seems to like him. Cause Billy ain't bad. <laughs> I'm having like such such a major nostalgia trip. It's gonna be a lot of me just sitting here staring at it because I'm just I'm amazed by the whole thing. Hi cousin Calico. Oh hello Freddy. Howdy Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well it seems Oops. we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? <gasps> what does oh, that no. mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's How not could right. they? No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town, and I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Just me being amazed by everything. That's cool. Did you see the rustlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Ooh. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! Oh yeah, because it's currency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god, I remember this game. Here we are <laughs> in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Customers! Ahem! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers. Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. So shady. Is, is there like... Okay, so there's no subtitles, so I can't... This game is from when I was five. <laughs> Did you see this picture? It's my son, oh. Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. <laughs> Have you heard anything that might help lead us to the rustlers? No, I'm afraid not. There's probably more to click over there, but I just... I'll go over here. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Or good squid. I'm the Santa Clara squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. Er, uh, Perry Winkle. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? I heard Miss Stella down at the soda loon talking about educating the masses. Is that suspicious? <laughs> oh, I'm getting chills now. <laughs> oh, wait. Howdy, youngsters. I want to click on the thing on the I'm ground. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Major well, chills. Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. <sighs> they might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh, boy. Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. Like that thing on the ground. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Six, two, zero. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. <laughs> we'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Hi, I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. Well, hello, Eight Finger Phil, Doctor of Piano Ology, at your service. Stella at the counter said she saw some suspicious looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't rustlers. know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but <laughs> that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Remember this? for Finn Eastwood. <laughs> yeah. 
You feel guppy? Well, do ya? None of that made sense when I was five. <laughs> Remember them all. That's so weird. What can I do for you kids? One prickly pear soda, please. Coming right up. I clicked it. Oh, good, we got it. stuck in my tongue. I like the prickly pear flavor. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Bum, bum, bum. Is that what I think it is? It think. Oh! I'm just having so much fun right now. <laughs> oh! Come on! Let's check out that hatch. Okay! Meet at the Rusty the Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Six two zero. Six two zero. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. I know, Freddy. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. Six two zero. One, two. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? <gasps> Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. I didn't know fish could sit. <laughs> that must be one of the rustlers. <gasps> I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. <laughs> How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a blue ten-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an L on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in, because this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. I don't know. Okay, this we're not is hiding. the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. I was gonna pause it, but maybe I can just get through the whole thing in in like half an hour. <laughs> just an extra long episode. Okay, I need to go back. <gasps> the piggies. All right, you hogfish, quiet down or else. Or 
else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> Not Mr. Big. Did you hear something? That was... It was probably just the current. I guess. Some loud piggies. Hey, the thing's gone up there. But he can make me a belt buckle. Let's go see him. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I do the job for free if you brought me the materials. What kind of materials will we need to bring you for a belt buckle? Well, have a look at these blueprints. If you brought me a piece of metal shaped like this for the back, and a letter to go on the front, I could make you a buckle using my professional buckle-making equipment. That seems simple enough. Well, the part where I actually make the buckle requires years of training and lots of expensive tools. But you wouldn't have to worry about that. This is... Okay, so I have to find some metal in a letter. Well, that's over open over there, so. <gasps> oh my god, I remember you guys. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made Hammerhead this for the big shark. square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. No, musician? Do you fish. play an instrument? <laughs> harmonica. Where's your harmonica then? Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica. All the live long day, but now I miss my Monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica, Shh. the apple of my. I traded away my Monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded it's your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't. Now. Bad deal. Hmm. I'll go this way. Oh, hey. They needed a seven. Ooh! Oh, boy! I see another purple sea urchin! They needed a seven by seven piece. This should be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. I don't remember that part. <laughs> um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away, it's urgent. Yes, sir. I'm already so shady in this game. Oh, <clears throat> well, hi, kids. Hello. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. <laughs>
Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. What was the wink for? <laughs> now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. They're bothering me. I don't know why we need either of those, so I'm just gonna keep going. <gasps> hat! Oh boy! A real 10 gallon hat! Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? <laughs> Wrong nose Clifford. Wanted. Wrong nose Clifford by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of starfish scaring. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so jointed. It was like starfish scaring. <laughs> Ooh, that looks spooky. Let's go there. Oh yeah. Ooh. We made it! I knew we could do it! Doesn't hurt. <laughs> hey Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? It is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. <laughs> it's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. I love this. This is just great. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're just... Cool, cool. No, I... Okay, I can't go that way. That's weird. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. You should see my brother. But why? Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't. Why is that? I think I'm stuck. <laughs> Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it. Reflex. Reflex? Happens whatever anybody gets near me. Do you think you could move out of the hole while you're still small? Move? No way! Too scared! What do I do about that? I don't know what to do about that. It's a little weird. I can buy nuts. Or I can buy gum. I don't... I don't know. He looks familiar. I think he was in another one of these games. I understand this is this is like the fifth Freddy Fish or something. It's not like the first or anything. But this game I least I didn't remember the least, so. Hello! Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh. Oh no! It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Okay. 
He's so sad. He's a hermit crab. <laughs> oh! Okay, in a minute, I'll go there. Hi! I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly! You're not Freddy. No, you, like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, no, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. <laughs> the wheel looks like it just needs a oh, new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Okay, it's a square. How long has it been since your wagon broke down? A little over two years. It looks like two you've gone about five feet since then. Two yep. years. Making pretty good time. Pretty good time. Okay, I'm gonna get that bolt. Or that nut or whatever. A lot of forward and backward. <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal, Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. <laughs> Those are pick. Go fit locking wheel nuts. The finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. <laughs> and if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Fickle fit nuts are all cut. To cut you off there. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. Poem? <laughs> that's an awfully strange poem. Fickle fit locking wheel nuts are hazard tested and have been found to hold wheels on even at speeds approaching the sound barrier. Oh, wait, and there's still only three purple sea urchins per nut. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now. The nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll That's start you on three. one of our nut layaway plans, and you can have your nut when you paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous Fickle Fit Wheel Nut is... Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my two fine products are you interested in today? The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts? Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another wheel nut? 
We don't need another whale nut. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? Well, all I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <sighs> Everyone's so shady in this game. <laughs> Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Boots him something awful. What's he got against glue? Convenient. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now I need a letter. Let's see if there's anything else over there. Are you ready to start? Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. An old shoe. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! It's just a pile of junk. It's an anchor. It's an old tire. It's a bone. Maybe bone. if we give him something to eat, we can swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. It's like it's the gum. Maybe the bone? I don't think that 
that was enough time for us to swim past. No, I don't think so. No, it's gotta be the gum. Believe how quickly he's eating this stuff. Where would I get another sea urchin? That handle belongs somewhere. And now you turn it. Here, let me help. Luther, you are. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Nothing I can do? Okay. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! I got confused. I'm like, why are we floating? To what end? What did that do? Besides let that down. That didn't do anything. What? There we go. There's the other one. Oh, boy! I see another purple sea urchin! This looks really familiar. What are these? It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little <laughs> more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it, though. And then what's this one? It's pepper. Really? That's 
got it. Cool. Look at this cute spice container. This could come in handy. To grab one of those spices. Check them all. I really only need one letter. Oh. Let's go with the S. I want the S. Give me the yes. I really only need one letter. Well, I'm going to pause it here because it's long enough and I don't feel like dragging on anymore. So thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be going to buy some gum to give to that big pink thing. And then we're going to make our belt buckle. And we have to figure out how to get that hat. Well, we're close. I think we're close. We can't be that far off by now. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I'm having fun. I'm reliving a very, very old memory. So, yeah. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.